Hey guys, so what's up? It's your girl Liz, and I'm back with another video. Duh. Duh. Now I'm just laying here. I'm feeding them. I'm feeding the babies. Watching some stuff on TV. Just relaxing, you know, relaxing. It's real early. It's like 7 in the morning. Well, it's not that early, but it's like 7 in the morning. Um, I got up. I took a shower. I bathed the baby. And now... She's just looking. She fell asleep on the boob. Her best friend. And um and yeah, guys. But I was sitting here and y'all, I was watching this documentary about um like the drug crisis going on in Africa. And it is so sad. And they're smoking this stuff called Kush. And no, it's not Kush. It's Kush. Like they actually, it's like it's leaves mixed with chemical and they actually mix human bone in with the drug like yeah like people are going and stealing bones from cemeteries and and mixing it in with this drug i guess because bones contain sulfur which um i don't know when you grind it up and you smoke it it I guess it uh, goes straight to the brain or something. I don't know. But it's amazing to me, like, how much crisis is and, and has always gone on in um, Africa. And, and um, I was also watching something about the Congo. And, you know, they have... You know, it's funny to me because... People always want to talk about slavery in America. America, America, slavery, racism, blah, blah, blah. But it's like, do people understand that slavery is still going on in other countries? Like, these poor African people are actually still slaves. And it's freaking heartbreaking. And I feel like not enough people in America speak on that and try to help people out of the country. Like, the Africans in the other country, it's like, they just wanna, I call them spoiled Americans, you know, um, us black people here. Like we're spoiled ass Americans that wanna sit here and complain about racism when actual Africans in Africa are actually dealing with actual racism and slavery to this day. In the Congo, there's a bunch of, um, like I said, slavery going on. Um, they have children, pregnant mothers, people digging for, I forgot what it's called. It's been a while since I watched that. It's like, it's like battery for the smartphone. And it's so heartbreaking. Like pregnant women are, 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 are digging for this toxic chemical kids babies like i think as young as like three four years old are ma are being made to dig for this this um this chemical it's just so heartbreaking and anyway when i was watching the um documentary today about the new drug that's like taking over africa it's just so heartbreaking it's so heartbreaking seeing all these people and nobody is helping them <sighs> but it also got me thinking like drugs are so scary and i'm not talking about just like drugs yeah i'm talking about everything every type of substance cigarettes drinking alcohol like any mind altering substance is so terrifying to me. Like, I've never been big on, you guys know this, I've never been big on drugs. They try to say I was a drug addict. Girl, to this day, they try to say these lies about me. It's not true at all, <laughs> at all, at all. Um, but it's like now that I'm older and I have more understanding and I see this, you know, I'm older and I look at it from a different view now and I have more kids and any mind altering substance is terrifying to me. And I'm talking about even cigarettes, which I used to smoke daily. Um, 
before this pregnancy, that's terrifying. Like, drinking alcohol to me is so disgusting. And I'm not trying to like shame other people, do what you wanna do, but I just know like, it just doesn't serve me anymore. There's nothing about it that seems appealing. It is actually crippling in a sense because you know, I think it's crazy how people drink and they can't have a good time unless they drink. And it's it's crazy how society these days, they promote it like it's this casual thing. You go out and you drink and, and now it's like people can't have fun or enjoy themselves without drinking. And really what is drinking? Drinking is, why do people need to drink to alter your mind you need to feel a different way or leave your conscious mind to feel good about yourself like that's crazy to me and that really even changed my thought process about smoking cigarettes like I still crave them don't get it fucked up okay but the thing I noticed about me craving cigarettes is I only crave them when I'm super stressed out when I'm super have my anxieties like on a thousand and I'm just like oh my god I wish I had a cigarette but in that moment I can think clearly now and I'm just like yeah I want a cigarette and it sounds good because my anxiety is like to the roof, but I can handle this a different way. You know, just breathe in, breathe out. You know, I'm just more conscious about my decision making and everything. And it's just even with cigarettes, you guys, I'm just talking about cigarettes, but you know, I've never really been, I mean, I was, you know, a weed smoker or whatever, like when I was a teenager and stuff, but like, you know, getting older in my 20s and 30s no i've never been like a a weed smoker i was barely a drinker you know um but now it's like no uh -uh. i would none of that stuff even seems appealing at in the slightest in the slightest and seeing this documentary and seeing people like out of their minds like they have to smoke this stuff to feel better about their like, like, like people to me that need mind altering substances, they cannot deal with reality. Like reality is not appealing to them. And I don't want to ever be like that. And seeing these people smoke and get high and it's like, they're just high. It's a temporary feeling for an actual problem that they're dealing with. It's just, it's so heartbreaking. And it's not only in Africa, you know. There's a big drug epidemic here in the US as well that's like going crazy. And, you know, that kind of stuff really interests me. Like, I like to watch documentaries about that because I don't know. I've always been into like crime and like, I don't know. I've always been to that, into that kind of stuff. If you guys don't know this about me, I used to want to be a police officer and then I wanted to be, I really wanted to be a detective, a homicide detective. Um, but yeah. Anyway, <laughs> that's random, but I've always been into like investigation, crimes, all that type of stuff. So I like to watch, I like to watch all types of stuff. But um, yeah, the drug epidemic is so sad, even here in the U.S. And the fentanyl and the, uh, what is it? What's the other thing called? Uh, the stuff, the, uh, the tranquilizers, y'all. Trank, is that what it's called? Like, seeing this shit, how it's taking over people and it's killing these people, it's so devastating. It's so devastating and it's crazy to me how people will throw their life away for drugs. It's so heartbreaking. It's so heartbreaking to see, you know? I wish there was something I could do. I wish... Like that, even that field would be fun for me. Like I would enjoy helping people get off drugs or I would enjoy, you know, like I'm going to look into that, y'all. Like some type of, I don't know, some type of maybe counseling or something that I can get into to help people get off of drugs. I don't know. I don't really know what I want to do. I know I want to do nursing, but there's so many fields I can get into. So many things I could do 
far as like a career goes, you know? So I'm gonna look into that. But anyway, guys, yeah, just my thoughts and stuff. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Sorry, I had to delete some footage off my phone. I need to go through my phone and like delete a whole bunch of stuff off my phone. But, um, oh, I find it so weird how people on this internet, because I receive comments and messages like, y'all, if I show you the message, the, the uh, emails I've been getting recently, like, I got people really in their feelings, like, upset, like, it's so funny. Like, did you know you can block an email, too? You can block an email um, address, and they won't be able to email you. Like, people are stupid. Like, I can block y'all, no matter which, however y'all try to comment or speak negatively about me to me. Anyway, so I've been getting some crazy messages, to say the least. And um, I think it's so crazy. People think it's like some type of flex being able to breastfeed. Um, Cause they're like, you know, you're not creating milk and nothing's coming out of there. And, and it's just like, okay, if that was the case, like cool. But like females are jealous of me for the weirdest reasons. Like y'all be picking the weirdest shit to be jealous of. Like, the fact that I can breastfeed and I do create milk, <laughs> that's a reason to, like, talk mess. Like, turn around and try to say, you know, nothing's coming out of there. Like, what the hell? This is my breast. Like, <laughs> that's a flex. Like, for me to be able to say, oh, I can breastfeed. Like, y'all think I'm trying to flex on y'all? <laughs> What the fuck? It's crazy. Like I said, females pick the weirdest things to be jealous of me about. But yeah, mama loves loves the boob. She be breastfeeding and I'm proud and and like I said, it's on a flex. Like I'm happy for her that I create milk and she can breastfeed. The reason I implemented formula in with the breastfeeding cause <laughs> she likes to eat. Dude. Okay, as you can see, this baby likes to eat. Um, so yeah, I wanted to have a little some some extra, but it's just like like I was saying, breastfeeding is not a flex. A lot of women around the world cannot breastfeed, and my heart goes out to them and their babies. You know, I don't I don't ever do anything on this internet to flex on anybody. This is just me doing me, like I said, and. Females get jealous of the weirdest things and say the weirdest things about me. Acting like, you know, breastfeeding is some type of flex. <laughs> and I'm faking it for the internet. <laughs> to look like a certain type of person for y'all or to flex on y'all. Oh, Lord Jesus. Oh, Lord. Whew. I'm going to pray for y'all. I'm going to pray for y'all weirdos who say these things about me. But anyway, guys, little mama's over here doing her big one. I love y'all so much. I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys, period. Bye, y'all.